uh what up y'all i had to pop in really quick to intro this video i want to say hello welcome back to my channel my name is jay fox and this is the major looks channel uh today i have a styling video to styling boots 10 different ways and it is in collaboration with my good friend sierra also known as the new mix all over tiktok all over your instagrams um probably your man's email as well trying to get a little style console really the reason why i wanted to do this collab is because i do appreciate sarah's style i appreciate her being a black woman within the menswear space um and so one i wanted to put y'all on to her if you did not know her already but two i think that there's a lot to draw from classic menswear or just classic style period um there's always been a debate over like should you do classic versus not? And the thing is, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you could be classic one day, not the other. You can truly do it all and you could do whatever you want. But I wanted to show ways to style boots outside of my particular style because I think that I want to always make sure that this isn't becoming a dress like Jade channel and more like a a genuine helpful style channel where you take what happens here and you apply it to your own style, right? At the end of the day, everything should always work for you. Five looks from me, five looks from Sierra. They are all very true to the DNA of what our style is. And so take from it what you want. Thank you to Sierra for being a part of this and editing your own clips. <laughs> Thanks. And yeah, uh, Sarah's information will be down in the description. And please go follow her because she's doing really, really amazing stuff. Super high quality content. Everything is like very well produced. And on top of that, the looks are there as well. So please go ahead and follow her uh, and book some, book, I don't know, get, throw her a bag, book her for something. I don't know. And uh, I'll see y'all at the end. So this first outfit is the work slash office outfit. Now I haven't been in the office in about two years, but this is something that I would throw on easily. Classic navy suits from Express with the slim fit, one of my favorite kind of cuts. And then the boots are from Taft. It's the Paris boot and honey floral, and it gives it that extra pop of pizzazz. Next up, you've got the camel overcoat to give it that extra flair with the brown. And yeah, this is something that I would wear almost every day going into the office. Obviously, depending on where you work, this may not work <laughs> but I wanted to do kind of like my take on what I would wear to a creative setting if I had a job that was in an office type of environment these are actually some gray slacks that are from mango they're high-waisted as well they're really nice and fitted on my waist you can't really tell and then I have on a slim cut Zara sweater it's actually from the men's section just because this vest looks best with something that isn't as oversized with it and I think that the vest just kind of gives it a a, a military vibe, gives it a streetwear edge, uh, which is what I prefer, you know, for, for most of my looks. Just a little bit. We don't have to go that far off the deep end, but just a little bit. And then I added the beanie and the sunglasses because I'm just a beanie and a sunglasses kind of bitch. <laughs> and then we have the Prada bag just for a little, a little shine, a little finesse. And this next assignment is the everyday outfit kind of vibe. So this outfit is kind of dapperish, kind of, you know, I'm gonna go out, grab some coffee, but also might go read a book. I don't know, kind of vibe. But so what I did was I started with the boots. So these boots are from Taft. They're the Jaro boot in about a brown color. Love this colorway. It's very different and I love the sole of these boots. And then I put on a flannel that I picked up from Target a few years back. Um, especially with winter, can't go wrong with something like this. And then I got on some blue chinos that I picked up from Air Apostle. And then this trucker style kind of denim jacket from Target as well, the Goodfellow men's collection. And yeah, that's the everyday outfit. Back in this zip up of y'all have seen me wear it to the death. I literally wore it this morning to the dentist. And so I just paired it with my H&M cargo pants that I've had for forever that I actually chopped the bottom off of. And they ended up being a really nice crop length. And so I thought that they looked really nice with the boots just because when you're walking you can kind of see more of the shaft or when you're standing still it looks more like a dress shoe which i really like uh paired it with a gray beanie just to keep things simple and then i added the or my calvin klein hair and preston collection denim jacket just to bring in more of that black and add another layer because realistically every day here in portland it might rain the temperatures might drop and so realistically this is something that i would probably have in my car or on hand uh for the little everyday fit so 
that's what we wear. So this next assignment is the day to night outfit, which I love because this is something that I would do pre COVID with working in the office. So basically you take a piece and you want to make sure you can, when you remove that piece, the outfit still looks good. So I, what I did here was do the blazer. So I started with the boots from Taft. This is a Jack boot. So you got the two tone brown, super classic, super dope look. And then next up, I've got this blazer that I picked up from Kern Finch, which is like a light blue, dark blue and a purple. Got the check it on it, love it. And then I accentuated it with the blue trousers from Express and then I threw on a white turtleneck um, underneath to give it a little balance in the outfit. And then of course got the jewelry, super simple jewelry choice that I have here, which is all silver. And then if I remove the blazer, that is my going out outfit for night to grab some drinks. This is my day to night outfit. I have on this bright blue beanie, uh, this thrifted Pendleton wool Santa Claus is coming to town red button down uh just a black t-shirt underneath and then these uh kind of like wide leg pants from asos and then i have them cuffed so i can show more of the boot the reason why i love boots that have a taller shaft is because it doesn't really matter how much you cuff your pants you can show as much or as little as the boot as you want without actually showing your skin and i also like the colors of this and they do scream day tonight to me because even though they are bold and not super fitting for the fall winter season i feel like the white and black kind of grounds it um and then when i turn around it creates a nice little color block with the blue the red uh, the cream and then the black and i think that this is just another like fun way to style color and then also you know incorporate boots in a more casual less um you know kind of dressy way all right so it is date night we love a good date night you gotta look good because when you look good you feel good so i'm gonna do another sleek monochromatic outfit with a pop of color so what i did is i started with the boots from oral los angeles it's the classic black chelsea boots i love these super timeless and for that color block, we're gonna do the red trench that I picked up while thrifting. I love a good thrift find. Um, Eddie Bauer can't go wrong. I've been looking for one for a very long time. And then of course the jewelry, we're gonna keep it super simple, but still kind of, you know, a little over the top, not too much with the silver and the black accents. And then of course the black turtleneck to set it all off together. So something that I just love to do is just color blocking because it adds that pop of color and it just makes you stand out, but you still look good. and. And yeah, so this is that date night outfit. This is the date night fit and I keep to this black and blue kind of color scheme with the pop of white throughout. And I know that, you know, it's a thing, like do we wear black with navy? Is that something that we're doing? But personally, I think that when colors are closer together, it can create a really interesting color palette with depth. So that's just me personally, but clearly I have on black with blue. My hat is a navy blue hat. And then I have this shirt that's been kind of sitting in my closet. I've been having a hard time styling it. And I realized that it just looks way better with a black t-shirt underneath. So I threw this black t-shirt underneath and then since it's date night, I wanted to be a little more sharp. And so I wanted to go for a more fitted pant than what I normally do. These are some Levi's. I have no idea what kind or what number they are. Uh, so I'll put that on the screen and they are cropped, I believe. And so I just cuffed them even with the crop because I wanted to show more of that boot. And I feel like it t makes me look a little taller personally, just me. And I like how shiny the boot is with this look. Um, it's very New York to me and I really like it. It's like put together. And I think that this is what, you know, out there that are a little more slim in the cut, you know, do for me because it's something that I don't normally do. But when I do do it, it does look nice. So I get it, I get it. And this is how we pull it up for the day night. This next assignment, we did the going out outfit, which is one of my favorite kind of outfits that I did for this whole series. Very monochromatic, very sleek, very, one color ish but with a pop of color so what i started with was the black rogues from thursday boot company it's a jodeper design very sleek very stylish something similar to a chelsea boot but it gives a little bit more pop then next up i went with the black denim jacket that i got from asos and then of course throwing on the jewelry with the two-tone gold and metal so love the all black look very sleek very casual if i didn't want the jacket on and then next up i threw on a gray nighthawk hat from Gwen brothers which is adds in the flare of color and it just overall set the outfit up um, for success so yeah this is the going out outfit this is my going out outfit i took these pants from my girlfriend as you can see they're huge she really likes big baggy pants and i really like how like really giant pants look with boots that are really skinny on the legs and they have like a very japanese shape to me especially with the extra fabric around the knee it's giving me almost like a like a bow like a bow leg kind of vibe and so i just matched it with this oversized corduroy it's actually a corduroy button up i can't really tell corduroy button up from zara and then i wanted to keep the 
masculine kind of uh, military vibe there. And so I threw on the trucker, got a little bit of accessories going on and it's comfortable, comfortable, cozy going out. It fits for pretty much whatever you're about to do. And most importantly, you will not be hot. That was the video. I appreciate y'all. Thank you Sierra for being a part of it. General thoughts on the video. Uh, I would love to hear them and do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See you soon.